Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at Costco to talk all about the vitamins and supplements and protein powders that I have here at Costco. That's actually been a pretty popular request, so I thought I'd show you all the different things that I have here because not all supplements are created equally. Not all vitamins are created equally, so I wanna show you what to buy, what to avoid, and why. Before we break down all that good stuff, you know the drill, like, subscribe, share, more importantly, bell icon is right below the video. The reason why you wanna enable all notifications is because we have three to four Four videos going live every single week including a live stream on Friday night that's super fun and you do not want to miss out all right let's come down here there's so many vitamins here and I think a lot of them are stuff you just don't need or not the most quality sources so I'm not a doctor I don't play one on YouTube so these are just my recommendations but I think of something I see on TV all the time something like this it's a multivitamin here centrum silver and I'm okay with multivitamins. There's nothing wrong with it. I just want to know the quality of the vitamins they're putting in here. And I also want to know the other ingredients. So here's the profile of the vitamins here, which is all swell and dandy, right? But where I start to get really concerned is down here. So I need my magnifying glass. I see all automatically there's maltodextrin and modified cornstarch. That tells me there's two sources of GMO corn. Maltodextrin is also high in the glycemic index. So something you gotta keep a lookout on if you're watching your blood sugars. And let me keep looking here. And we see they're actually putting food coloring in their pills. Red 40 Lake. I mean, yellow number six and a few other preservatives. So ideally, when you're getting a multivitamin or any vitamin, you don't want the filler, right? You want all thriller. So that's not something I would take. We'll try to find a better multivitamin. But out of the corner of my eye, I actually do see something that I take on a daily basis. We've talked about this in previous videos, but this right here is something I would scoop specifically at Costco. It is the Vital Proteins Collagen, grass-fed collagen peptides. And why do you want to scoop it specifically? The price, look at this art, is gangbusters. I've never seen a 24 ounce container for that cheap. It is literally twice the price for that in many other places. Now, why is collagen all the rage? Why is it such a big deal and why do I take it twice a day? I put it in my morning tea or coffee and in my post-workout smoothie after the gym. Because as you get older, you start to lose the natural collagen in your body. I'm 41 years old, okay? I gotta start replenishing what I'm losing. In addition to that, it's really good for your hair, skin, teeth, nails, and your gut. Gut is very important to foster the uh, bacteria in there. It's fantastic. This comes from grass-fed, 100% pasture-raised bovine, and if you pump in on here, it says 20 grams of collagen per serving. But the cool side effect of collagen is that you also get 18 grams for two scoops. So it's actually nine grams of protein for one scoop. I think they'd prefer to call it an added bonus. Yes, an added bonus. What'd I say? Side effects. <laughs> side effects may include protein. I said no one ever. It's usually side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, it's not a complete uh, protein, right? Doesn't have all the branch chain amino acids, but it's still really good. This stuff is the real deal. I would use it once a day. It has no flavor, so you can add it to anything you want. Really, really good for you. Tons of health benefits. Now, if you come across another product that I use, this is the same thing. They call it keto collagen because they put MCT oil powder in there. It's a little more expensive. If we look at the price, it's $35, so it's $31 per pound. The other one is definitely cheaper. But the only difference in these ingredients is MCT, medium chain triglycerides, and a little bit of stevia. So if you don't mind the added price, this has that nice flavor, and they're using real chocolate here in the form of cocoa. No sweetener, no filler. Um, if you want a cheaper version, buy the Vital Proteins, add a scoop of uh, unsweetened cocoa powder or raw cacao powder. These are fantastic things. Then we see protein drinks like this. We see muscle milk. These are things I typically don't eat or take, and I'll do a whole video about protein drinks, but you look at something like this, Art. These are the ingredients on the protein drinks here. You guys, I mean, we're talking about natural and artificial flavors. We're talking about sunflower oil that's not expeller pressed. We're talking about phosphates here. So don't be like lured in by the fact that there is 30 grams of protein, which is amazing. It's not something I would put in my body, right? 
But we're gonna do a whole video about that. And if you wanna know about the protein powders they have here, they actually don't have too many that I love, but I have a whole video about protein powders and a lot of them have natural flavors, but check it out. There's a couple best in class. Unfortunately, they don't have them here. All right, let's go back to the vitamins. Okay, I see something here that's marketed towards kids. Check it out. This is something I'm very passionate about now that we have Rose Honey, our five month old. This is a multivitamin, omega-3, vitamin D, and choline kids vitamin, which is fantastic, right? But we have to look at the makeup here of the vitamins. That looks great, but I always want you to turn your eyes to this. The other ingredient, main ingredient is organic cane sugar. Then we have organic tapioca syrup, more sugar. And let's see, luckily the colors are natural, right? They're from black carrot juice and turmeric. The problem is now that I know there's sugar here, I look up here, look how fine print this is. Five grams of added sugar for a four gummy serving. So you guys, five grams of sugar is just over one teaspoon of white refined sugar and tapioca starch. You're actually nullifying a lot of the vitamin benefits when you're giving your kid that kind of sugar. This is not something you want. And it looks good on the surface, but you got to dive down deep. And then also going back to reading the ingredients. Prenatal vitamins. So something really, really important. It has a lot of stuff in here for women who are pregnant. And look, do nutritional profile of the vitamins are great, but we look at the other ingredients and you tell me if you're pregnant and you want to feed your baby in utero, the best stuff, do you think sugar and GMO corn syrup is the best thing? Do you think natural flavors and palm oil are the best thing? So this kind of stuff scares me and there's three grams of added sugar in two gummies. So just under a teaspoon is three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar with all those other stuff. Desi, my wife, uh, did a prenatal story on Instagram and saved it to her profile of what she did. She didn't take any of these kind of things. She got independent vitamins from a really good source, I believe from Thorn and other places. Go to uh, uh, her account, I'll put the link down below. Check out her story, there's a ton of information on there. But once again, you read the other ingredients, that's scary stuff, you guys. It's winter now, right? It's cold and flu season. So we see stuff like airborne here. Hey, I got, you got airborne. Do you want to hear what I'm going to talk about here? <laughs> so this is something I wouldn't get because even though it has the vitamin C and it does help immune and it has the nice vitamin profile here, we look at the other ingredients. And what do we see there? We see natural and artificial flavors and they have sucralose, which is another word for Splenda. So the thing is sucralose, do you know what's about sucralose? Sugar? Yeah, so it's fake sugar, yeah. Do you mind, can I show you on my camera for our YouTube? Come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> so she was actually holding this in her hand. Okay. The problem with sucralose, another word for Splenda, it's a fake sugar. It's actually worse than sugar in the first place because it tricks your brain into craving more sugar mm -hmm. cravings in the future. Mm -hmm. So even though this can help you with the vitamin C, with the natural flavors and the artificial flavors, it's total garbage, so I wouldn't get this. Mm -hmm. They used to have here at Costco last winter, these uh, turmeric, boosting shots called uh, from Suja, and that was turmeric and black pepper and coconut water and pineapple. That was really good, but now they're not carrying it this year and I'm super bummed out. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Probably people weren't buying that. Yeah, because they want the convenience <laughs> of a pill right. or a fizzy thing. And then if you go to the Airborne Original, this is even scarier because see how these pieces are coated in sugar? To the tune of, look at this, there's seven grams of sugar in a three gummy serving size. So. Do, when you think of seven grams of sugar, how much would you think that is in terms of like a teaspoon, a tablespoon? Maybe two. Two, two teaspoons? Yeah. Yeah, you're 100% right. Yeah, it's just about two <laughs> teaspoons of sugar. But can you imagine getting something that's supposed to be good for you with vitamin C, but then washing it down with two teaspoons of sugar? It defeats the purpose. Right. So I would go to uh, Trader Joe's or anywhere that sells those immune boosting shots. Mm -hmm. Or if you go on my website, Shameless plug. I have my immune system boosting tea with real turmeric and ginger. That's much better. So, well, Poppy, didn't Mary Poppins say just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down? <laughs> yeah. I don't think Mary knew about that kind of stuff. Right. So I hope we helped you here. Yeah, thank, thank you for you being so in the much. video. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> but, Bye. but okay, she was really nice. It's like, it's like we planned that, but we didn't. That's why I love Costco. You just run into the friendliest people here. I, this is my new Cheers. Call me Cliff Clavin because uh, this is my new. Uh, everybody knows my name. So I am a hundred percent okay getting pure vitamins like this, right? Everyone might need a vitamin E boost. Or in the winter time, you might need a vitamin 
D-Boost. These are okay with me, right? Because it's just, oh, oh, whoopsie. I was gonna say it's just vitamin D with soybean oil. Because it's a gel pet. Yeah, but it's with a GMO, highly processed, refined soybean oil. So that's actually not cool. But if I get Nature's Bounty soybean oil, oh my God. Nature's Bounty has soybean oil. There's gotta be one without soybean oil here. Like I understand they have to mix it with something. Soybean oil. Okay, so we have to find stuff like liquid vitamin D and vitamin E's that don't have the soybean oil. I, ideally you wanna see it with a neutral oil that's heart healthy and not processed like avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil. Man, I thought I was gonna pick this up and it'd be 100% fine and it's not. Let's see here. I normally get my omega-3 fatty acids from eating a lot of seafood and salmon, but if you need a supplement, this is probably best in class here. This is not only fish oil, it's wild Alaskan, which has the best nutritional profile. And the reason why I like this, look, there's no other oils in here or anything. It's actually clean as can be. So that's really nice to see that. Let's go around the corner. There's a ton more stuff here. Every time we do a video at Costco, somehow the huge pack of Trojans always ends up here. So I'm assuming this is the best deal. How do you check out with this at the front? It's kind of embarrassing, right? Like, oh, it's for a friend or we make water balloons out of there. 33 cents, I'm assuming that's a good price. I've been married for a while. I don't remember the price on that. This is something I love. Check it out, Art. This is MCT oil that's organic. And look at the price, really nice. $23 from coconuts. This is great because MCT oil is great at increasing energy and weight loss and has brain boosting abilities. There's no negative stuff in here. The oil sometimes does separate. So if you put it into a smoothie, it might float to the top, but this is great. I know this company now makes a, I think it's a golden milk with turmeric and it's at some Costco's. They actually asked me to do a sponsorship with them, but their golden milk has natural flavor, so I can't get behind it. But the other ingredients are pretty good. And then right next to it, this is amino, essential amino acids. So we talked earlier about the, uh, still here, <laughs> we, don't, we don't go away. <laughs> this is our second home. Well, it's funny, that's uh, show Norvin. Say hi again, Norvin. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Norman. <laughs> you might recognize you might recognize Norman from the seafood video. He's like, you guys are still here. This is what we do. We go to the stores all day, every day. So like the um, bone broth powder, it's not a complete branch chain amino acid. This has more amino acid profile here. But the problem is, even though it has all these great aminos here, which is lovely, we always turn our eyes down here. Natural and artificial flavor, not good for business sucralose, fake sugar, Splenda, carrageenan in here too. Ooh, wow. And blue number two and a little red number 40 to top it off. Wow. That's why we read the other ingredients. That is not something I would get at all. Over here is something a little more interesting, right? A little more homeopathic. Turmeric is all the rage these days. Why? It's an anti-inflammatory. It's an anti-carcinogen. This is pure turmeric. It looks like it's curcumin C3 complex. And look at that, there's nothing else in here. So it's a different than getting turmeric to cook with because it's this different variety, it's the C3. Other ingredients love to see that. So you could scoop that in your shakes and that'd be a great turmeric booster. In the winter, you really want this. I was talking about my immune system boosting tea. Turmeric will really fight off any bugs and keep you strong like bull. I really believe in that. Same thing with this, the turmeric, these are capsules. So you just gotta make sure cellulose. So this is fine, but I think just getting the powder is gonna be way cheaper. And what else is here? We have, I'd rather get the collagen in the powder form, but this is collagen here in a pill. The problem is it doesn't say if it's grass fed. So even though it is clean, this doesn't tell me if it's grass fed. Let's see here. Nope, so I can't know if this is something I would get. Let's take a look. There's so many things here. Let's just kind of browse around. The Costco, the documentary. It is right. the documentary happening. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. All right, we got to see where Bobby's at. He's 
around here doing his thing as usual. Where is he? Ah, there he I'm is. I'm over here, Art. Come over. I just want to close on this because I think we pretty much covered everything else. Just like with that airborne, right? If you're going to get something like Emergency that has that vitamin C, well, yeah, it has the vitamin C boost here with a nice profile, but in the other ingredients, it just gets scary, you guys. You get natural flavors, you get caramel coloring, you get GMO maltodextrin. This is not the kind of stuff you want to put in the body, right? Stick with the turmeric tea, stick with the uh, those suja or those Trader Joe's immune shots. Just got to read the other ingredients because nine times out of 10 we're seeing here, or maybe seven times out of 10, they're just not good. So that is it. We just covered a bunch of the vitamins, the supplements, the protein powders at Costco. Heck, I hate to go home. This is my second home, right? So if you want more videos from Costco, you let us know. But this was what? We're doing three videos this week for Costco week. We got our cookbook over on the uh, cookbook section already, but we need your help. Uh, like I said, in the other videos, it's a limited run. So if you live near the Costco's at the test locations that are down in the description box, get the Flav City family out there. Let's sell them out so they get a nationwide order, which would be amazing. Uh, that is it. Two more videos going below. Art and I, like, subscribe, share. These videos are a beast to make. And like the people who are shopping are saying, you guys still here? Yes, we're always here. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace.